Next thing we're going to do now is install some of the stuff we got here into another machine. I'm just taking a sec to grab the other machine. Here's our other machine, an AMD Athlon 1600 processor. Uh, we're running it on uh, XP. I'm going to put it down on the table. There's a little lever here. I'm going to press it down and the top slides right out. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm taking a look to see what I'm working with in here and it's a, it's a pretty easy form factor to work with. This is the PCI slot that we're going to install our PCI card into. Just going to go in here, get this out, grab my PCI card, I'm going to slide it right in here. In. All right, now so the uh, video card is installed. It's sitting nice and snugly into its um, PCI slot, and um, I will show you guys the uh, the back of it. Being it, I had to uh, custom fit this. The VGA slot is, is just going to come out of here. There's, there's no way that it could line up properly in the slots. But this is the VGA slot that I'm going to be using. Now I'm just going to take a look at the uh, hard drive configuration here. I'm going to move the computer around to the other side to see if I could get the other side out. It looks like it doesn't come out, so in order to get to the hard drive, I'm going to have to get past the, um, the DVD here. There we go. Looks like, it looks like this lever is going to release the DVD, and it does. So that's pretty good, just with one lever, I could release the DVD. Now I'm going to take a look at the, um, the drive and yeah this one is definitely operating with a um, SATA drive as well. So there's, there's a possibility that I'm going to uh, gonna test out the uh, old SATA drive from the portable Seagate unit. So I'm going to get the uh, SATA connected here. I have it connected, so I just need some power for it. Let me see if we have uh, an available power source here. So what I'm going to do, being it I, I'm not seeing an extra power connector for the extra SATA drive, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to borrow the um, power connector for the um, DVD. I'm getting rid of the DVD just for a minute. So I'm going to borrow the power connector for the DVD and then we're going to go ahead and, and use the, uh, the DVD's power connector on the secondary hard drive right now. Just, just to see if um, this hard drive is indeed um, working. So I'm going to take the unit, going to connect it up and we're going to go ahead and see two things. We're going to see if our uh, video card is working right and then we're going to see if the uh, SATA hard drive is working correctly. So let's go ahead and um, see what's going on. Let's get this PC connected. And let's see if it's going to work. So right, right now, I'm connecting to the standard video jacks because I just want to get the drivers. I just want to get the drivers installed and um, set up. That's my focus right now. Once I get the drivers installed and set up, once I check the hard drive out. Then I can move on to the um, 
to the um, next step. We got some power going on here. Let's get the machine turned on and let's see what's happening. Now the machine already detected the other hard drive so I'm just going to click F1 to save. Select our operating system, Windows NT. All right, let's go ahead and log in. Let me get my wireless USB plugged in. So now I'm going to go to my um, hard drives and it appears the uh, Seagate free agent is functioning to a degree right now. So we're just going to leave this hard drive in here for a while and um, see what happens with it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to um, go online, we're going to go to the NVIDIA site to download the drivers for this video card. So I would just make a search on Google NVIDIA um, video, uh, I'm just going to make a search on Google download NVIDIA drivers and it should take me right to the site. I'm at the site, it's asking me for my product. It's the GeForce 8400 series for Windows XP. And here's the download. But I just I click the backspace and try something real quick. They have um, an option here to automatically find the drivers. Let me just click on this option to see how it works. All right, it says it doesn't support my system anyway. All right, so that doesn't work. So we're just going to download the standard drivers. Chrome is downloading it right now. 85 megabytes. My connection is quick. We're at 35 megabytes already. This is completely unedited. I'm really downloading that quick. 62 megabytes. Perfect, we got it. Looks like it downloaded it to my um, desktop. Well, I don't see it on the desktop. Anyway, I'll execute it from here. The graphics installation program has started. I um, never read all this stuff so I'm just gonna agree to their terms I'm just gonna go for the express installation 
One thing that I have to point out, it's always a good idea when you're buying your computer components to go with the um, bigger uh, companies, the companies that's, that's uh, popular because you're never going to have a problem in getting the drivers. So in this case, this is an NVIDIA 512 megabyte PCI card that I took out of an old computer but I don't have the CD for the drivers. So being it that it's an NVIDIA card, it's a PNI label, but an NVIDIA technology, I was easily able to log into the internet and download the correct drivers for it. So it's always a good idea to stay with the uh, major brands because of the support. All right, so it finished installing the driver. So now I'm gonna restart the computer. Gonna go ahead and log in. Alright, I'm gonna head over to the device manager to see if the um, video card installed correctly. And NVIDIA is installed correctly. Alright, so I'm going to physically plug in to the uh, NVIDIA to see if I can get some video. <laughs> 